Meteor Lake is going to be using tiles, which means it's going to be kind of like a chiplet architecture. So we're going to have a compute die and an IO die. Intel's confirmed that the compute die is seven nanometer. Intel seven nanometer, not TSMC seven nanometer. And what they mean by tile as opposed to chiplet. What's your minimum specification? So with uh, AMD's chiplets, you have two chiplets separated by a connection through the substrate. And it uses a SIRDES link, a serializer, deserializer. Basically, it takes what is normally a parallel bus into a serial bus. And you obviously take a power and a latency and a bandwidth hit for doing that. But it allows you to do more chips, expand out, and get the performance. What a tile is in Intel speak is using an EMIB or a Foveros connection, where instead of going to like a going from a parallel to a serial link, you stay with a parallel link. And it's like an essentially an interposer. It's a very small interposer that you embed into the package. There is a cost increase because of that. Um, Intel has been spending 10 years trying to get this uh, embedded package technology working um, at scale, repeatable. Uh, we already have some products in the market that are already EMIB, like FPGA. What this means is Intel will go forward with this tile concept where they'll be putting compute tiles, IO tiles. We might see some memory tiles. We might see some graphics tiles when we start seeing TSMC tiles uh, or moving beyond that into you know, GPU tiles and everything like that, that's when Intel's tile ecosystem will probably boom. Now tile, because it's, cause it's EMIB, EMIB's been researching for 10 plus years, since about 2008, I think. Um, Intel's put a lot of upfront money with this. Um, there's gonna be some extra substrate cost, but it means that Intel can finally go along sign like the chiplet route. And the benefit of the tiles means that they should be able to enable better bandwidth than AMD's um, Infinity Fabric, uh, lower latency, less power loss. Uh, but the danger is that because it's not a control fabric, it's just essentially a wire connecting two chiplets or hundreds and thousands of wires. Um, I'm concerned about the scalability, how power management is going to happen, and what exactly is going to be a limit here? Um, AMD's chiplet strategy, because you can put the chiplets further away, means you can manage power of having, say, nine chiplets in a design. If Intel has you know, nine plus tiles, we know Ponte Vecchio is 47 tiles. Um, but, you know, there's power management involved in that. And having two tile, two high performance tiles close together, what does that do for the thermals? Uh, AMD can arguably manage that better than Intel. So we're going to have to see what happens on that front. Tile strategy is the right way for Intel to go they were being pushed down this sort of like chiplet route anyway. I mean, there's no question that the future is chiplet based. You can't get the big dies anymore without all the defects because the pro the process nodes are getting so small. Defect rates are going up comparatively. So your yields are going to go down. So the only way to get that back is to do chiplets, but that requires more advanced 3D packaging design. And this is what we have with EMIB and Foveros on Intel, this is what we get with the chiplets and say SIOC and 3D fabric at TSMC. Uh, so Intel might end up mix and matching its 3D fabric uh, technologies with TSMC as well. That's going to be interesting to figure out. There is still room for monolithic designs. I, Chromebooks in the past year, was it plus 240% growth? That's the sort of technology that has to stay monolithic because it's, it's a cost down, it's a low margin, uh, low ASP product and if you're dealing with uh, more uh, more expensive substrates with EMIB bridges inside them and you're having to pull tiles from different parts of the world and connect them together that product's going to be too expensive for that market so I kind of expect as we go on more and more products from Intel will be tile based um, whether they go kind of chiplet rather than tile will depend on the product um, there won't be ever, you know, a, a situation where 100% of Intel will be using tiles. Um, there'll still be room for monolithic based on cost, and I don't think that cost will ever be cheap enough for those sorts of designs. Um, it'll be interesting to see where Intel's roadmap for tiles uh, goes, because TSMC has given a very clear roadmap of where its 3D fabric designs will go. Um, Intel does have a very smart... Um, packaging 3d packaging team uh, i've uh, met and interviewed uh, a number of the people there and they're really smart people um love them to bits but i really do need to see roadmaps going forward especially if that sort of 3d packaging is going to also going to be part of the foundry offerings <laughs>